Hi, I'm Stephanie from Arts Boston, and today we're at the Boston Foundation listening to a speech from Diane Paulus from the American Repertory Theater, Elizabeth Streb from SLAM, and Katherine Peterson who moderated this, the discussion. So we're going to hear from some of our arts organizations in town about what some of their responses to what Diane and Elizabeth were saying. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Jason Talbot, I'm Project Director and Artist for Humanity. I'm also a co-founder of the organization. Um, just came to this wonderful symposium here at the Boston Foundation about our audience participation, and um, it was just amazing, you know, really being able to uh, hear some new ideas on how to engage uh, the audience. I mean, you know, we work in the arts and in entrepreneurship, and um, we have a vast audience for our artwork, and just to hear the way that, you know, uh, Streb and um, the American Repertory Theater are engaging their audience, it really informs the way that we can uh, better interact with our community of, of, of viewers and patrons. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm charged up by what they said. I think I heard some really groundbreaking, innovative ideas, um, new and different thought processes, and I think that we're that we should interact um, with our audience even more. And uh, of course we do. Uh, uh, I think engaging your audience is, is, is extremely um, important as an artist. And, you know, I, I, I want to it's a new focus in my mind now. Um, my audience right now has always been the, the, the young people, the teens that we mentor. Um, and, 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 but I think it's even more important for me to mentor them their audience as well. So it's uh it's been an eye opener. It's been refreshing. Um, you know, uh, the the conversation was was, was engaging, and, and, and I think uh, I think a lot of things that were said need to be heard, and uh, it'll be great to see uh, their future productions. And uh, I hope to uh, take what I learned and uh, make some productions of my own. So, uh, I'm very thankful to the Boston Foundation, the Mass Culture Council, and uh, yeah, it was great. Hi, I'm Mia Howard. I'm the marketing manager for Boston Lyric Opera. We're New England's largest opera company. And it was really exciting to listen to Diane and Elizabeth today talk about how the way to keep engaging audiences is to really go back to the origination of theater. Opera is one of the oldest art forms in the world. It's over 400 years old. And I think just like uh, music theater, live theater, dance, really getting back to making it an overarching experience for the audience from the moment that they first hear about the art company or the performance itself to when they purchase the ticket and that whole even tactile experience to when they walk onto the performance property, the performance experience itself, that they're not just sitting there being passive, and uh, then what happens afterwards. And I took lots and lots of notes and lots of stars and lots of underlines and have great, great ideas because we're of course wrapping up our past season but going full tilt for next season and it's just so great to have people come forward thanks to the Boston Foundation and Arts Boston and say hey it's okay to shake things up and we don't have to follow strict guidelines so it'll be really interesting to see what comes out of this.